हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कंस्ट्रक्शन गुरु माय नेम इज नदीम एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग डेवलपमेंट लेंथ कैलकुलेशन एज पर इंडियन कोड बीइंग अ सिविल इंजीनियर यू विल ऑलवेज बी गाइडेड बाय स्ट्रक्चरल कंसल्टेंट एंड ऑल अदर सीनियर स्टाफ दैट प्रोवाइड डेवलपमेंट लेंथ प्रॉपर्ली बट यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग व्हाट इज डेवलपमेंट लेंथ वेयर इट इज प्रोवाइडेड व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इट सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियोस आई मेक please like comment and share and do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the latest video updates so let's get started development length is the extra length of a bar provided beyond the required section in order to ensure the following the first one is to develop a safe bond between the bar surface and the concrete so that no failure due to slippage of bar occurs during the ultimate load condition i repeat to develop a safe bond between bar surface and the concrete so that no failure due to slippage of bar occurs during the ultimate load conditions so now what is ultimate load condition as you can see in the picture ultimate load is the amount of load applied to the component beyond which the component will fail now in this diagram you can see that the bar from the beam is not provided till the end of the column hence the stresses will not be transferred properly to the adjoining sections making it prone to failure now the second point is the extra length of the bar provided as development length is responsible for transferring the stresses developed in any section to the adjoining sections such as at column beam junction etc so in this diagram you can see that the bar from the beam is bent at the column junction so that the steel bar and concrete bond gets even more stronger at the end support provision of appropriate development length is an important aspect of safe construction practice proper development length in reinforced bar shall be provided as per steel grade considered in design otherwise in scenarios where less development length is provided against the required the structures will be prone to failure due to slippage of joints bonds anchors and laps in such cases the bar will not yield first but the failure will happen at joints and laps prior to yield of reinforcement bars now let us see calculation of development length as per the indian standard is 456 2000 clause number 26.2.1 the development length ld of the bar is given by the following expression ld is equal to phi sigma s upon 4 tau bd where phi is equal to nominal diameter of reinforcement bar sigma s is equal to stress in bar at the section considered at design load and tau bd is design bond stress the given formula is used to calculate the required development length in mm for any given diameter of bar same formula is used for limit state method as well as working stress method the only change in calculation in both methods is due to the different values of design bond stress i will be making a separate video about the design bond stress in the coming days so stay tuned now let us see design bond stress for limit state method as per the indian standard is 456 2026.2.1.1 on page number 43 you will find a table for design bond stress in limit state method In this table you will see concrete grade and their respective design bond stress that is tau bd in newton per mm square for example for m20 grade of concrete the respective design bond stress for plane bar given is 1.2 newton per mm square similarly for m25 grade of concrete design bond stress for plane bar is given as 1.4 newton per mm square for deformed bars conforming to is 1786 these values shall be increased by 60% therefore design bond stress for deformed bar in tension is equal to 1.6 multiplied by design bond stress for plane bar in tension thus design bond stress for deformed bar in tension for m20 grade of concrete is equal to 1.6 multiplied by 1.2 which is equal to 1.92 Similarly we can find the values for M25 M30 M35 and M40 and above Now to calculate the design bond stress in compression the above value shall be increased by 25% Now let us see design bond stress for working stress method 
as per the indian standard code is 456-2000 on page number 81 you will find a table for design bond stress in working stress method again for deformed bars conforming to is 1786 these values shall be increased by 60 percent therefore design bond stress for deformed bar in tension is equal to 1.6 multiplied by design bond stress for plane bar in tension thus Design bond stress for deformed bar and tension for M20 grade of concrete is equal to 1.6 multiplied by 0.8 which is equal to 1.28. Similarly, we can find the values for M25, M30, M35 etc. Now to calculate the design bond stress in compression, again the above values shall be increased by 25%. As per thumb rule, in practice the development length requirement is expressed as 41 times phi or 41 phi where 41 is a factor calculated using the below formula and phi is the diameter of bar. Now let us see how to calculate the development length for limit state method. Let us take an example. If we have a concrete grade is equal to M25, steel grade is equal to Fe415 and diameter of bar is equal to 12 mm. Then how can we find the development length? Let us see it. Previously, we have seen the formula for development length, which is LD is equal to phi sigma s upon 4 tau BD. So, to find the development length, we need the values of sigma s and tau BD. Sigma s is the stress in the bar. We have got steel grade is equal to Fe415. Thus, the value of sigma s will also be equal to 415 Newton per mm square. Also, we can find the values of design bond stress that is tau BD from the table 26.2.1.1 which we have seen previously. We have got concrete grade is equal to M25. Thus, we will find the corresponding values for deformed bar intention. Here, we can see the corresponding values to M25 is 2.24 Newton per mm square. So now, let us submit the above values in the formula for development length. We get phi multiply by 415 divided by 4 multiply by 2.24 after solving this we get 46.3165 which is approximately equal to 46 phi therefore for bar of diameter equal to 12 mm development length will be equal to 46 multiply by 12 which is equal to 552 mm now let us see how we can calculate the development length for working stress method if all the parameters are same as the previous example for the limit state method, also the formula for development length is also same. LD is equal to phi sigma s upon 4 tau BD. To calculate the stress in bar sigma s, we will refer table 22 and extra B of IS456. The diameter of bar which we have is 12 mm. Here you can see types of stresses in steel reinforcement. Over here, they are referring to the diameter of the bar. Under this, you can see it's written tension up to and including 20 mm. Hence, the corresponding value of HYSD bar will be 230 Newton per mm square. So we can write sigma s is equal to 230 Newton per mm square. Also, we can find the values of design bond stress that is tau BD from the table 21, which we have also seen previously. We have got concrete grade is equal to M25. Thus, we will find the corresponding values for deformed bar in tension. Here we can see the values corresponding to M25 is 1.44 Newton per mm square. So, we can write tau BD is equal to 1.44 Newton per mm square. So now, let us submit the above values in the formula for development length. We get phi multiplied by 230 divided by 4 multiplied by 1.44. After solving this, we get 39.935 which is approximately equal to 45. Therefore, for bar of diameter equal to 12 mm, development length will be equal to 40 multiplied by 12 which is equal to 480 mm. I hope you find this video useful. If you feel the work I do is good, so please like and share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.